Why, hello everybody, welcome back to a little bit more Kingdom Come, where this time, or I should say, last time we kind of went out there, we dealt with the robber baron, and you know, we had a little bit of fun out there, uh, so today I think we should probably do a little bit of the DLC, maybe Hans Capon's little missions, also we gotta go investigate some mines for good old, you know, good old scallops, see how they go, um, yeah, how do you like it, horse? You like the view? Of course he does. Uh, that's all he ever does, is just get on roofs. I, I don't understand this horse at times. Hey, don't hate me. Ah, there he is. May I be of service, my lord? In a manner of speaking. Master Faithful has, well, evil forebodings. I think he may want to send you to the Scarlet's Mines. Well, thank you. I'll go and see him straight away. There you are, kid. Come talk to me. I'd say there's real grounds for your forebodings. I heard from one Scalitz miner that someone may have found something there and didn't report it. I knew it. That bastard Namoy and his cronies. Christ above. I want a lot of them clapped in irons. A lot of them? How many are there? A dozen? Two dozen? How am I to arrest them all? Yes, yes. You're quite right. It'll be enough to take Namoy. He's a serpent leading the others on the path of evil. So I should look in the mine... And if anyone's there and I find Nemoy, I should bring him to you in irons. Exactly. But proceed with caution. The punishment for stealing the king's silver is burning at the stake. Those people will be capable of anything if cornered, even murder. That's all clear. I'll get going. See you later. Ah, very nice. So we get to burn uh, Nemoy at the stake. That would be fantastically good fun. Thank you, Sir Radic. You know how to treat a boy. Oh, God. Get out of the way. They want us to go to here to check out this place. What's that? Well, I never. Yeah. The big turns up. There we go. That's what I wanted. Of course. Uh. Ow. Hey, you shot me. Hey, how about you guys get away from me? I got things to do with. I'll slaughter you. Will you? My horse got something else to say about that. No. All right. Just stare Ultra at a wall. Yeah, dear God. Hey, oh, you're an archer too. Hey, how about you? What? Did you just eat an arrow? What the? Wait, what? What are you doing? No. No. Oh God, what what is going on? <laughs> what is this? Oh my God. What are you doing? I didn't plan for this. All right, mister. What's wrong with you? What? Why? You get to live, but... Why? Did you give up? There you go. Why? Why is this a thing? He just keeps going. Well. God be with you, you crazy bastard. Um. Again, I, I don't plan for this. It just happens. I, I, I don't know how this happens. I don't know why it happens, but... God bless you. God bless you, you crazy legs, man. Oh, well, well, look at this. It's a bunch of rats. What's been happening here? Leave me alone. Apart from us losing everything, living in fear of sticking our noses outside and waiting for folk to come back again. Uh, yes? Nothing. So why didn't you say that straight away? Why should I? You bluff your way in here and start asking questions like you own the place, and it never crosses your mind you might not be welcome. Damn it, wench. Mind your tongue. I'll give you, wench. F*** <laughs> yourself, laddie. <laughs> what the hell was that? Yeah, alright. Let's go find out what's going on. Hey, it's Nemoin! If you're in charge here, you'll be mine master Nemoy, if I'm not mistaken. What's it to you? Master Fafar told me if I found a Nemoy here in the mines, 
I'm to bring him to him in irons. You think you're gonna haul me off to Ratai to be burned at the stake? There you go. He's dead. Everything else. Mission accomplished. Did everyone else just disappear? Once he's died, everybody else just vanishes? What the? I can't expect a better outcome than that. I didn't like you guys anyway, so... Nemoy and his gang were stealing silver there. The vermin. I thought as much. Did you bring him here? Well, I tried to, but he was having none of it. He didn't want to burn, so he tried to kill me. Well, I'm glad he didn't succeed. But now I won't be able to find out anything. Oh, well. Can't be helped, I suppose. All right, so Hans, keep on. You got something to start out with. I can go in here anytime because I know this. Henry, I'm glad you came. Yeah, you got a small bath this time. Why not you got a bigger one? Well, if it isn't the world-renowned victor of the Ratai tourney, Henry of Scalitz. Henry of Scalitz! Henry of Scalitz! That's the way. Is there anything I can help you with, Sir Hans? Ah, Henry, the very man I wanted. There is something you can do for me. You see? I'm in love. The fairest maid that ever walked the earth. Carolina. The botcher's daughter. Your task is simple. All you have to do is get hold of a necklace fine enough to grace her lovely neck. I did have one that I inherited from my great-grandmother. Unfortunately, not anymore. I lost it at Dice in the Ledechko Tavern when I was there to see... Well, that's not important. Oh, uh, what's the use? All right, all right. I'll go to Ledechko, find this diabolical Dice player and see what I can do. Yeah, all right, very good. So we can go out there. We just got to go get his necklace from, for him. Sounds like a good old thrill. Let's uh, go make this thing happen. Hey, look at this. We're in Ladechko. Hooray! I mean, really, we should be talking to these guys. They haven't talked to them in a while. I don't know what's going on with them. Yeah, let's go find out. How do you like it at the mill, Fritz? Gotta be better than the mines. It's worse here than at Scallets. There you could disappear without anyone noticing. But here... But why would you want to disappear? Nimoy isn't here. <laughs> No, he's not. But the local foreman is an even bigger ass. <laughs> I'm not sure that's possible. So why don't you arrange a fight with him? If we win, he'll leave us alone. And you think that will help? Oh, we could... We could lure him off someplace far away and then wait for him. Maybe to play dice with Lawrence. He would have to go through the dark woods. That might help. All right, very good. So let's go talk to uh, Thomas and... Heard you're as bad-tempered as a rabid dog. And twice as stupid. What? And Jane, any idea where we could do it? Why are you asking me? Good. Above Ledechko, then, at dusk. But... Show it to me. That's it. Lawrence from Boudin sends word that he has some time at night and some groschen. Lawrence from Boudin. The Red. You had dealings with the Miller Peshe. Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ! Ah, the Red, of course. Ah, I must have misheard you. Yes, I'll definitely stop by. Shit! You want to trounce him, don't you? Aye. I convinced him to go and play dice at the neighbouring mill, and we're going to lie in wait for him. And then we're going to have a nice little talk with him about his behavior. Shit, shit, shit. An arranged fight, maybe. But this, it's assault. We could hang for it. He's such a pessimist. This kind of trick always works on people like him. You'll see. Listen up, you best start treating your workers better unless you want a repeat of this. Yeah. If I have one more word of complaint about you, I'll kick you from here to Tamburg and back. Dude, you dare? You're what? Get the shit beaten out of you again. Bastard! 
Maybe. But remember, from now on, that mill's gonna be as peaceful as a cloister on Easter Sunday. Holy crap. <laughs> Say, look at this. It's you, the dice player. We need to do things from hands. Keep on. Are you the one who played dice with Laura Capon? Played and won, lad. A fine noble he may be, but he can no more throw dice than I can read Latin. I can't disagree with you there. But look here, have you still got that piece of jewellery you won from him? No, I don't. Some noble rode through here and we had a game or two. Only them dice kept falling his way. I was lucky to keep my boots. He's got the necklace now. He was waiting for someone here. But when they didn't show up by midday, he rode on. He mentioned something about camping by the bridge over the Sasau River. That one before the charcoal burners camp. You might still catch him there with a bit of luck. Are you after something? I'm afraid my friend here won't tell you much. Your friend? Oh, I'm very sorry. And, um... Well, I don't want to be insensitive, but I was hoping to get something from him. My master's necklace, which he won at Dice. Nah, you can't trust anyone these days. So how can I help? You can pass yourself off as Alphonse. Get into the bandit's camp, and, and when you do, you'll find what you're looking for. I'll help you. I'll have to go there to look for the necklace anyway, and this seems as good a way as any. Right in assuming this is the encampment of Sir Earhart, uh, Baron Bilevets. You must be Sir Alphonse, eh? But it's easy to pass the time here. There's always a dice game going on, with nice things being wagered. I had my eye on a fine pair of gauntlets and some old piece of jewelry. Well, we're inside the camp now, so we can go play dice and everything else. So let's get started off here. Let's uh, go talk to the main person, see what's going on. Hey, how's it going, old... Laha? How you doing? I was told I could have a game or two here until Sir Earhart has time to see me. The custom here is if you want to play, you've got to wager something to join. You'll play against Noggin now. He's not the brightest, and he ain't a good loser. Oh, he's definitely not a good loser. Oh my god, look at all these dice. Um, yeah, why not? I guess we'll just... Play with all Fawn's dice. I don't think this guy has any dice at all. Um, so this should be relatively quick. Yeah, I don't like these dice. They're not the best dice I have ever seen. But you know what? They got the job done. You're a f gate. Sir, I challenge you to a Jew. <coughs> Calling Henry a cheater? How dare you? <laughs> Alright, well, let's go on to the next one. You'll play Berta. He's a man. But they call him that for some reason. Damned if I know why. Yeah, so basically, just slam him down. Loser! Yep. You're a loser! Yeah, at least you don't cry about it. Not like your other guy. You'll play against Maladota. He's a bit... Well... You'll see for yourself. Yeah, he's a bit weird. That's alright. Not like this guy's gonna have any problems with us. Oh no, what is this? One of these extra rolls? Oh my god, how could it happen? It's like I have lucky dice or something. They fell your way last time, and no mistake. Then there's Pekuna. He's a local fellow who brings stuff for us. He put up a nice necklace as his wager. Yay! We get to play another naked man. Oh, look at this. And there we go. Finally got a decent roll. He was he was going good. He didn't have any dice at all. Good job, Ben. How did I do? Have I won? Well now, Sir Alphonse, you took them all by storm. Here's the key to the prize. Thank you kindly. Yeah, I kind of already stolen this already, so... All right, that was fantastically good fun. So we're just gonna get out of here. I have good news for you, Sir Anselm. I know who killed your friend. Who was it? Uh, you can't trust anyone these days. 
There he is. Hey, Hans, keep on. Let's go talk. I've got that necklace. Excellent news. I'm not going to ask you how you did it. Here's a reward for you. Yeah, so I think that's good enough for now. So we did a bunch of mine work for them. Uh, we got Hans Capon sort of going through a little dice game here and there. And um, yeah, we did some good things. So yeah, so I think I'll cut it off from there right now. Um, you know, what I also did find out is that you can, can kill Sir Radzik's horse. I don't know why. Sorry, Sir Radzik, your horse just fell over and... Um, I don't know what happened to its little dress thing, but I'm sorry, Sir Radzik. I mean, I don't know where it could ever have shown up at. I mean, I mean, my horse looks very snazzy. I don't know where it got it at. I, I just don't know. But, um, yeah, apparently you could just wipe out uh, Sir Radzik's horse and steal his stuff, and he just doesn't care. Congratulations. Um, I don't know how you're going to get through with your, ho with your horse dead, but, uh, yeah, that's good enough for us. So anyways, I like I said, I think that's yeah. good enough for now, and I hope you enjoyed this part. Until then, we're going to have a good time. Or until then, hope you have a good time. See you around. Till next time. Woo! <laughs> Ooh. Oh, sorry, you're in my way. Oh, God. These people just keep getting in my way. I don't understand. Ow! <laughs> Idiot. Wait, why does someone want to attack me now? Interesting. Who's attacking me? Wait, why are you attacking me? Why is Herman attacking me? Wait, wait, wait. wait. What's, what's going on? Oh, boys. Boys, what's going on? I don't understand. straight to hell. Whoa, 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 you, no surrender, no surrender, finish, oh, holy crackers, what's going on, what's that about, whoa, whoa, I, I literally don't know what's, I surrender, no, no, slaughter you, there'll be no mercy for you, whoa, what's going, what the heck is going on, bring it on, oh god, whatever, all right, until then, um, I'll be dealing with these guards, and, whatever they're trying to figure out what to do with me so hope you guys have a good one until then <laughs> have, bye i didn't do anything they ran into my horse god freaking rude <laughs> All right, I gotta stop this. <laughs> oh, jeez. What is this? <laughs> what is this? Why do you got your hand caught in there? What happened? Oh my God. Um. Yeah, well, you found something nice. Jeez. That's that then. Do you think it will be enough? He definitely looked like he'd had enough. True. He'll either stop or make life hell on earth for us. So, anything else you need from me? No. Thank you for your help. I need you to be visible. No what are friends for? Hmm. You forgot something. Ah, of course. You're right. Here's something on the side. I don't need the money. I need to. <laughs> Why am I invisible? There you go. You guys like to do a little archery competition, but they can't shoot if you put a horse in front of them. So they'll just stand here with their arrow and do nothing. God, I love this game. So, perfectly fine. But let's go parlay with uh, this guy over here, too. And let's see what he has to say. Is he going to still talk to me? You've no business here. Clear off. I don't have business here. Of course I have business here. I just want to eat and sleep. I'm full. Nobody cares. Oh, here you go. Down you go. Um. Yeah, nobody cares. I just killed him in front of his 
You're Mr. Arnhart. You got anything cool? Oh, you got a Magnum sword. Give me your chest. What do you got in here? That's it? That's it? You broke as... Yeah. You should think 12,000 groschen is a reasonable reward? Very reasonable. We can certainly agree on that. And that's everything. <laughs> Why are you bleeding? Look at this. I got a pervy horse. Just sticking his head all the way back there. What, what are you doing? Oh my god. Look at this horse. Look at this. You're trying to take a bath and this is what you see? <laughs> you just see him. <laughs> oh god. Hey, don't. Oh, hey. 